Fantastic. We were the pinnacle of discretion during this mission. I didn't think someone was stupid enough to commandeer an old hideout from the Port Mafia. But I'm not surprised. It's a shame that your reconnaissance turned into a firefight, but it can't be helped at this point. Good job getting the information we needed. I wouldn't have had the patience to deal with the encryption software and computer stuff. Getting their files and assets is going to be greatly beneficial in the long run. It would have been nice to keep those guys around to get more out of them, but that's more on me than on you. Besides, they would have been put down eventually. Hey, this was a hard-fought victory for you. Don't go beating yourself up over getting caught. You were one person against twenty. I'm impressed how well you did, despite not being gifted. That makes you all the more impressive. But it really pisses me off that the boss did this to you. Seriously, one person against a whole hideout for a wannabe crime lord? A stakeout always requires backup, and yet he wanted you going solo. You're not one of the grunts anymore, but you're definitely not as strong as someone like Akutagawa either. A guy like him could have cleared this place out without having to lift a finger. And you were expected to sneak in, hope you didn't get caught and fight your way out if you needed to? That's some shit if you ask me. <sighs> the boss must have really wanted to test you. If he thought you could have handled this all on your own. It's not like your loyalty to the Port Mafia was ever in question, so... Maybe he just wanted to see if you'd fail. You never really know with someone like Mori, sadistic prick. Alright, you're in rough shape. Give me your coat, the thing's shredded anyway. Let's get these cuts bandaged for now. You're lucky that you're quick on your feet. If that guy with the knife was any faster, you'd have a lot more than just a cut on your forehead. There. Your head's wrapped up. Shouldn't be too tight. And at least you can mostly see still. Hmm. What? I didn't say anything. You can drop the question, don't bother asking again. It's stupid anyway. Ah, oh, fine. It's just that, with your head wrapped up like that, you remind me of someone I don't really want to remember. At least you're better company than he ever would be. Happy? Good. Now keep your arms supported like that. Let's make a proper sling for you until you can get to see the doctor. I'd offer to pop your shoulder back, but I'd rather leave that to a professional. It's not the best of first aid ever, but it'll hold up until we get back to headquarters. You know, you're pretty tough. I'd be surprised, but considering you're one of my best people, I'm really not. Though, just because you could handle a little scuffle, doesn't mean I want you out in the field like this too often. Yes, you're capable, but you're better suited in other situations. Come on, let's get out of here. I'd rather we leave now than deal with the police. I doubt anyone would come around here in the middle of the night, but it's better safe than sorry. Our ride should be here to pick us up anyway. Thank you.
Oh, just great. It's raining. And of course, our ride isn't here. I guess we're just gonna have to wait. Walk back? In the rain? No, are you nuts? First of all, you look too suspicious with blood all over you like that. That's an instant red flag that I really don't want to deal with. It might be the dead of night, but that doesn't change our chances of getting noticed. Second, you don't even have a coat since... Well, it was shredded before I got my hands on it, but still. I'm not having one of my subordinates walking around in the rain while injured. That's just asking to get sick. So just sit tight for a second. I'll give them a call and figure out what's going on. <sighs> yeah, that makes sense. No signal right by the water. I guess we're really sitting and waiting then. You're shivering. Yeah, don't try and deny it. I can hear your teeth chattering. We can talk about getting you a new coat later. Here, take mine. It's best to keep you warm, considering your injuries. I guess it's not too bad right now. It's been a while since I've been able to stop and listen to the ocean. And when night having fallen, I convinced myself that the world is somewhat like the sea. Like the restless sea in the evening. <laughs> What's that look for? I can pretend to be a poet if I want to. Though don't let anyone else know about it. Not that anyone would believe you. Come on. Who's gonna believe you over one of the five executives? See? That's what I thought. Hmm. You're still cold. I'm not sure what else I can do for you besides put my arm around you. I'm being careful. I never intentionally bring pain to my people. Besides, you're at just the right height. Your shoulder's absolutely safe. For now. Is this a little better? Good. I don't usually need a coat. But I keep it for occasions like these. If I can make something a little better for one of my own, then I'll do it. Simple as that. Even if it's taking the coat off my own back. Hey, there's our ride finally. Let me get the door for you. Go on, it's settled in. What are you trying to do? Why are you removing the coat? Return it? Why would you do that? Keep it. I've got plenty, and you're the one in need of a good coat right now. So I insist, hang on to it for now, and let's get back already. Hey, small talk isn't really my thing, so let's get down to business, shall we? If you liked the audio, give this a like and subscribe to the channel. There's exclusive content on patreon.com slash anagomi, so give that a look if you're interested. Head over to anagomi.com slash commissions, where you can get exactly what you're looking for. Until next time, see you around.